Hey everyone, this video will be a continuation to what we already posted. We already built the mining rig, so now we'll start mining on it. If you haven't seen the video of us building it, please click in the link in the descri description. below to check out the video so what we're going to do today is we're going to go over windows 10 environment and set it up so that it mines efficiently and then we'll set up our overclocking and undervolt the cards and then from there you're good to go the items we will need to get started is a laptop or a pc mouse and keyboard and a USB drive. So the first thing we want to do is to plug in the USB drive in your laptop and then use the Windows Media Creation tool to create a bootable USB drive that can install Windows for you on a new storage. Make sure to select the proper USB device to avoid deleting your personal files. After that, go ahead and unplug the USB and then we will head to the mining rig. Once you turn on your mining rig, immediately start tapping on the delete key to enter your BIOS and then hit on F7 to enter advanced mode. If you are not using the same motherboard, please look up your motherboard BIOS key and then do the same steps. We mostly will be tuning it to mine better and strip down as much controllers as possible so it runs less background services and uses less power. After checking our footage, we noticed that we missed a couple of options that we didn't go over. We will include instructions and a video in the description below that will go over them properly. We also do recommend upgrading the motherboard with the latest BIOS version which we will include the link for it below as well. Now it should automatically boot into the USB drive that contains your Windows installation and then you can just avoid the product key and choose Windows 10 Pro. If you are downloading it on a used storage device that previously had Windows on it, you will need to delete the partitions and then install it on the unallocated drive. Now once it finishes installing, set up your keyboard and choose personal use, avoid entering any credentials and set it as an offline account without a password by hitting next without typing anything in the password field. Make sure you disable all unnecessary services and then your windows setup is complete. First thing we will do after finishing that installation process, we will update Windows to the latest version. Don't mind Brave Browser, we just installed it because we can't stand using Edge. Now we will go ahead and install the graphic card drivers, which in this case we will be installing the latest AMD ones, and then we will install MSI Afterburner and GPU-Z.
In Radeon settings, you will not have to change any settings for the Radeon 7s unless you're planning to overclock from there. If you're using one of the older RX series, you might need to set the settings for the card as compute mode, so keep an eye for that. GPU-Z will be able to give you information such as your graphic card memory type and all the temperature and power sensor readings. For this tutorial, we will be overclocking using MSI Afterburner. There are many other overclocking tools, so feel free to use whichever works best for you. Just make sure to overclock carefully. We have a couple of overclock settings in our website. We plan on adding more and hopefully have all the cards and algorithms on there as well. Make sure that the cards are synced before applying the settings so it applies to all of them together. Now after setting up your overclocks, we will go ahead and tweak windows and set it up for mining and make it as efficient as possible. In the guide that we have, we do bring up a couple of points that would help you configure your system to basically run a little bit smoother. It will take out a lot of services and reduce as much noise as possible. There's also a script that we have on the guide that was written by a great someone that will help you basically strip out all the services that are not needed and will also disable automatic updates for Windows 10. We have multiple guides on mining different coins, so we will be following the Ethereum Classic guide that we have on our website. If you do need any more clarification, please feel free to check out the written guide. Setting your fan curve can be based on your environment, but it's always ideal to keep the GPU at least below 70 degrees.